Hey, so, um, I just got a new head cork for this. Finally, it came after, like, two or three weeks. Uh, delays and all that. So, happy to see you. This is the alto flute I've been working on here and there. Um, and since it works, I've been playing it. So, um, anyway, I've been trying this little piece. Um, so I'll play a little bit of it. Let's see. Mm, okay. figuring out how I respond best on this alto flute and one of the things I notice is that I almost always crack the E's um, so any of the um, of the um, top space E's on the staff I almost always crack I don't know why um, maybe it's my embouchure maybe it's the fact that this flute has at least uh, pads that are at least 10 years old so um, Anyway, those are ordered. They're on their way. <laughs> so uh, tomorrow or the next day or something, um, I have the pads to do these little keys up here. These and then this one. Um, I got those ordered, but I forgot to order the other ones until this week. So anyway, those are on their way. And this thing has been a lot of fun to play with. So um it is a straight head only, but it's a uh, silver head. Um, it's got some cloudy spots and it gets fingerprinted pretty easily. So, um, anyway, it, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I think it responds a lot better now that I have a, a new head cork in it that seals a lot better. Um, the other one, when I took it off, definitely there was stuff getting under the plate. So, um, that makes a big difference. So anyway, thought I would share. Thanks. 